Students from schools around Tarafti donned costumes and busted out the marimbas for a special performance of the legend of Fiddy Corker last Wednesday. Some 300 people turned up at the Lawson Field Theatre to support students and learn about the local legend. Makaraka school teacher Michelle Hall has been the drama specialist for Aurora for the past three years and was impressed by this year's students. If I just gave them a script that I'd purchased from somewhere, I really don't think they would uh, be able to put this together in six days. So yeah, I think, I think they're doing a, um, a fantastic job. I'm very impressed with all of them actually. Aurora is a specialist education provider working with 17 primary schools in the wider Tairawhiti region for talented students. Many of the students in the play had never acted or even played the instruments they had to play in the show. We spoke to some of the girls about why they got into the play and what they liked about it. I helped fix up some parts. I wrote one of the parts with some of my group. It's like a new experience. Um, yeah, I've never done it before. Well, not many of us knew how to play instruments here and we um, got to learn how to play all the songs on the marimba and xylophones. I like Grace's Temarama dance but I also like how my part, Oi Oi the Seal, is kind of funny, like, like the dog and the seal and joy. Komatua Charlie Petter gifted the story of Fiddy Corker to the Runanga, the organisation that represents the interests of local iwi. Take note of your elders' wisdom! Runanga education manager Albie Gibson said he asked to turn the story into a storybook for schools so he could share the amazing story of Fiddy Corker with future generations. His story gives an explanation of the small oil deposits at Faratutu near Tikaraka, where oil companies have been searching for black gold for years. 